Who speaking? I came to see you. How awkward. Oh, right. I keep forgetting that I'm no one. Just to set the record straight, I do wash my clothes. Can I count on you? This shop assistant, her name is Stephanie. She witnesses like what was going on, the whole situation. You don't mind if I butt in, right? I mean, you're not still buying that, are you? She felt sorry for Barbie, and she's like, I'm gonna give you a free bracelet and a diary, even though you're not gonna buy that dress anymore. They were like, I'll keep it on hold. I'll keep this on hold for you in case you change your mind. Thanks. Um, uh, I'm expecting you to come back and buy the dress. I've been there. I don't there. know why she gave it to them. I think she was like, it helped me and my friends. I've been exactly where you are. To me, that makes us sisters. Aww. Yeah, she said like, oh, it helped me. I know exactly what you've been through. And I'm like, you've met a Todd. <laughs> After that bracelet got moved around in the hallway, she saw like this fall formal band audition. And then she decided to sign up and then she's like, what are we gonna call our band? What should the name be? And then she's like, oh my gosh, let's call it Charms. We're wearing Char bracelets. <laughs> No, you know what the funniest part about this whole like band yeah. thing was? It's that Barbie saw it and she like signed them up for it without their consent in her explanation as to why she like signed up for it was like, it's so that I can be noticed, so that I can be a popular kid <laughs> and that I can be recognized by everyone and they'll think I'm cool and I'm like, girl. You can pack your things and leave. There's the door. <laughs> Way to throw off the curve, Barbie. And her friends like, thanks for reminding me that like I'm a nobody. <laughs> like Oh, right. I keep forgetting that I'm no one. Thanks for reminding me. Nations are so strong. I can feel the imminent anger and sadness. I am Hawkmoth. I give you the power to seek revenge. Yeah! Honestly, an opportunity for Courtney to show off her drumming skill that she's been wanting to show off since the beginning of the movie. <laughs> for like a good portion of the movie, she like played the drums on everything but an actual drum. <laughs> she even bombed Raquel's head. Ah. Oops. Tells Kevin that all Raquel cares about is being popular. This gives Barbie the idea to study what makes popular kids different from unpopular kids. <gasps> Kevin, you're brilliant. Who in this school wouldn't be hooked by finding out what makes the populars popular? Not just a story, an in depth study. Why they are like they are, why they act like they act. Like, what's the psychology? Like, I want to know, like, is it hereditary? Is it based on your genes? Like, do you have to have a specific MBTI to be compatible with the popular kids? Yeah! The poems were so weird, it was like... Don't want to be too scary, but maybe I'll see you in the library. <laughs> yeah. He was trying to rhyme. Like, is that the only rhyme you got? We all wear a uniform. Uniform. You gotta tell little kids that there ain't no unicorn. No. Hey. Hipping, hipping, hipping. Uniform, unicorn. That's the bad. No reaction. <laughs> like, there's so many words. There's like January, February, sanctuary. <laughs> and then Barbie's reaction to it was like, oh my god, I have a secret admirer. Must be Todd. <laughs> Come on, that's ridiculous. It's about the formal. I just wanted you to know I really liked hanging out with you. <laughs> Dear Diary. Just one day while Barbie was like writing in her diary, she reached in her bag and she like found a highlighter. She's like, oh my gosh, that's it. A highlighter lip, lip gloss. gloss. 
I can make a business out of this. Yeah, she's gonna make some money so she can buy that dress to impress Todd. Don't you know you're oh, that, mm, that dress. <laughs> this is the one, right? Um, yeah. to be honest, Kevin, not to hurt your feelings, but <laughs> your fashion <laughs> is not my style. <laughs> It's Your fashion ain't mine either. Or she can finally pay Kevin for all the work he had to put up with. I'm a whole new person who can do no wrong. Wrong. Principal Peters. And then the principal <laughs> gave all three girls lunch duty because oh. Barbie's lip gloss highlighter business was booming and then they went to do the dishes it was so annoying because they were like stepping on the food and throwing it on the ground and the only reason they stopped was because of the announcement for like the band charms ah! 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 but tia and courtney were mad at barbie for being falsely blamed for barbie's lip gloss highlighter thing yeah it's not like I had plans to work on my campaign speech over lunch. I was going to finish my trick homework, but luckily this came up. We were like, we weren't a part of this. Yeah, so I don't. Why do we have to be punished? That's actually so true, though. Yeah! Oh my god, I remember the scene where she was on the phone 24 7. They're like, we have to rehearse. You're the one who signed us up for this. She's like, oh, okay. And then her phone rings. Gotta take this. <laughs> and also Barbie's guitar. Yeah, and she was like carrying it with straight arms at some point. I'm like, how is she playing? Maybe she wrote in her diary like, oh, I really want to play guitar. Like, with straight with arms. arms. Yeah! And then she steals Barbie's bracelet after finding out Todd might be sending Barbie secret notes. What? She told us that Todd was sending her secret admirer notes. Oh, she did. Not and she was Yikes. like, this isn't stealing, this is borrowing. <laughs> Honey, we're not stealing, we're borrowing. Just like she borrowed Todd when we were clearly on a trial breakup. She's horrible. She's the reason I'd never go back to high school. Yeah! And then Kevin's dad, I'm joking, he makes this face and he's like, dang it, there's no more gossip for the bra. Which I'm really surprised that it got like broadcasted live, like, on television. Like, is this national news? Like, 네. so Mission 30 seconds before the show, we're going to be here. And then Barbie was sad that she lost her bracelet, but then Kevin was like, oh, let me just take this guitar string out of your guitar and place it around your wrist. And then she was like, <laughs> Kevin, that's ridiculous. It's just a stupid piece of metal. Exactly. Oh, it's not actually powerful. It was just to my mind. <laughs> And then Tia was like, Just to set the record straight, I do wash my clothes. And yes, I number my jeans. And everybody was like cheering for her or something. <laughs> yeah, they were like, yeah, that's so cool. You do it at certain intervals. That's so smart. So if I wore jeans number three on Friday, on Monday, after they've all been washed, I'll know not to wear that pair. I'll wear five or seven. So pick me. Choose me. Love me. <laughs> Wow, that's really brilliant. Do you think that plan works with undies too? I love how she like all of a sudden like switches her love interest. And that's when I realized. Would you excuse me? I've gotta go. Just because he didn't write those notes, all of a sudden she's like, It all makes sense now. <laughs> After that song, I like Barbie. <laughs> that song just serenaded him. The melody was speaking to him and he was like, Oh my god. Why was I so blind before? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, it was so funny because they're like, oh, what food even starts with a Z? And he's like, hmm, I don't know, Zocklid Zip Cookie. I give up. Snack break. Mmm, 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 the, mm, the cookies work. <laughs> like zucchini? What even is zucchini? The next time someone tells you some juicy dish about someone else, note to self. So what? Two, three, four!